Hello, Spencer with Townline Equipment in Plainfield, New Hampshire. Currently, Kubota is offering some great promotional rates on their compact construction equipment. Therefore, we're going to do a quick segment here with a compact track loader and a mini excavator to show you some of their capabilities. If you're in the market to replace an existing piece of equipment or would like to add to your fleet, please contact our sales department or visit our website, townlineequipment.com. We'll take a second to pause for working with this KXO40 to walk you around the machine and familiarize with what this has to offer. We'll start the furthest out on the machine out here at the arm. Kubota has all of their greasers located on one side of the machine all the way back to the cap. This machine is equipped with Kubota's manual diverter. So right now it's set to run your thumb, but you do have the ability to put an auger or a grapple or a post hole digger on this straight from the factory. They also do make dual port machines as we work our way towards the back of the machine. The side service hatch here. Single piece brings you right to your valve bank. First thing that we'll start on is this one-way valve for any applications like a mower or a hammer. Machines valve banks all located here. Filters on the outside. Air filters on the top. Coolant. We move to the back, open up the engine hatch. Again, a single piece door, fuel filter, water separator, oil filter. Close the machine up, one lever. Back hatch, single lever. Work our way around to the operator's platform. This machine, your pattern selector, right here on the side, no covers, switch it instantly. One thing that Kubota does have is a programmable hydraulic system. So with the lever down, auxiliary one, that turns our thumb on and you can adjust flow rates. So that's the KXO40 briefly. As we do our walk around on the SVL 75, we can start with their carriage system. This has a grease tensioner, which does your track tension. You've got your idler wheels on the bottom and then your rear sprocket to power. The back of the SVL is a single latch door. Your batteries on the right side cooler on the back, water separator with fuel filter right behind it. Your top hatch opens, which gives you access to your oil fill, 
dipstick, block heater. What is unique about this is with that bolt gone and the same on this side, your whole cooler will fold out and then you have full access behind it. And that is why this hose pops out to give you the extension for it to come out. Close it up. We go towards the front. This machine is standard flow and high flow. Something that is unique to all the Kubotas, whether it's the 65, the 75, or the 95, it's Kubota's fold up door. And then you've got your operator's platform inside. We're going to switch from the bucket to the frost ripper. Um, if you're not familiar with what a frost ripper is, it's a single tooth attachment for the front of your excavator. What it does is it takes all your breakout force and puts it on a single tooth. So as you're going to see, it makes it a lot more efficient at pulling out stumps. So if you're somebody with a mini excavator that's doing a little bit of stumping and want to be able to do it a little bit faster, give us a call about frost rippers. If this video has generated questions about Kubota's compact construction equipment or some of the attachments we used today, please feel free to reach out to our Pittsburgh, Vermont or Plainfield, New Hampshire location or visit our website, townlineequipment.com. For other videos like this, please visit our Facebook page, Townline Equipment. Thank you and have a good day.